Everything in the light get bright like heaven. Three sevens. Yeah, and every everything in the light get bright like heaven. Three sevens. Yeah, and everything in the dark come to light get on my level. Think I'm gonna stop going when I turn 27. All right, how my champions doing? We're gonna make winning plays every day. We're here with another champions business tips interview. Got one of my brothers, uh, grew up with him, went to middle school with him, went to high school with him. Uh, like I say, we've always been solid, always talked about a lot of different things, you know what I'm saying? Rather it was the Laker games that we just watched the night before, rather uh -huh. it was, you know what I'm saying, different plays you want to make from hustling to, yes. you know, what Jordan's came out, what Kobe's came out. Um, you know what I'm saying? What Air Forces was getting ready to come out. You know what I'm saying? We always like to stay fly. And um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of positive vibes throughout the years. Ever since I met him, it's been all positive energy. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to thank, thank him for getting on. And um, yeah, let me let you guys know what he does a little bit. And I'm going to let him go into exactly what he does in detail. Uh, does music, really successful music artist, right? And, um, you know, I'll let him go into that a little yes, bit more. Sir. Yeah, um, so yeah, I, I go by J Gaines, you know. Uh, but mostly I've just been working on my music throughout these last few years. Uh, I really started taking it serious. But, uh, you know, so I just do music, full time dad, work, you know, squeezing these hours when I can because it doesn't, you know, seem like work when you're doing something you like. So it's so, all. It's all good when I get to the music late nights when I'm tired. You know, when I'm watching my babies, I still try to squeeze this work in. Man, so I write my best music with the kids around. So if you listen close, you probably hear them playing in the background of some of my tracks. That's what's up. <laughs> but before we check that out, we got a few questions for him. So I want you guys to get to know him a little bit and what he brings to the table. Yeah. Let's go over this. So the first question that we have for Jay is, what got you into making music? Well, um, so me and uh, Tony, we used to like kick it after school, after practice and stuff like that. So for a minute, we had a little rap group, uh, The Goodfellas. So we started rapping at the homeboy Rich's house. He recorded us first. But before that, I was like always writing poems and shit. I was just writing poems uh, all through elementary school. I don't know. I was just in the poem, right? And then, uh, like I said, later on, I got to high school. Me and Tony, we started rapping. And I just kept it going after that. I got to college, got better. All through this time, trying to find my style or, you know, my delivery, you know, so... I always just love music anyway. I always play music in the house, listening to the whispers, Temptations, all that old school stuff, Snoop, all the West Coast stuff, Mib, all that. So it's just been always in my blood to to write and just to make music, you know. So finally figured out my my lane, so I stayed in it, and you know, it's just now I'm just about uh, what you call it, perfecting the craft. So. And that's, that's, what you, now. that's what you're doing for sure. So you, you guys yeah. hear that? Like he started a long time ago and he stuck with it. And has it taken a while? Yes, it's taken a while, but he stuck with it. Like he has that marathon mindset, like marathon continues mindset, like just keep going. He, he kept that going and look where he's at now. Just because he mm. kept it going, just because he didn't give up on some, he cares about something that was in his blood, something that's really means a lot to him. So if it's something that means a lot to you, keep going. Maybe and he live in Kansas now. Yeah, he shot that video in Kansas, but we kind of meshed the two together. Oh, okay, okay. Look, oh, okay. Yeah. See, I, I thought, okay, okay. So I thought y'all was together, but he was in Kansas. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. And that's cool that everything came together and that you guys was able to still make it happen, even though he was in a remote location. Everything yep. still looks great, though, bro. Like, for real, for real. Yeah, he messed it well, the video guy. So shout out to his dude and my dude. For real, yeah, they, it came out clean. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Dance, 
always depends, it's my favorite job. So call me bad back, I'm back to the bad cat. One day send a check for some time, but now make sure it's hard to be profound. I'm with a brand new house here, mom, mom, I'm the lifestyle. I'm a big time, I'm a blue person, I'm a big time. I'm a big time, I'm a big time, I'm a big time, I'm a big time, I'm a big time. We tripping the quicker behind us. We look like ain't nothing behind us. Sir, it's clean. Yeah, uh, listen, man, that, that video was clean. Shout out vision. Thanks for the video, the visuals, everything came out real clean. Uh, that's just just goes to show you that you know what I'm saying. If you got a goal, if you got a vision, is it something you want to do? Go ahead and execute on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's up to you. <clears throat> Is you know what I'm saying somewhere that might be in the works, um, even somewhere in California. Please yeah. let me know, even if it is or if it isn't. You know, try to get as much content as you can get. Even afterwards, we can do some coverage. But I would love to be there, yeah. cover the event. Um, you know, so whatever I could bring to the table as far as um, you know, so let people know about business and things like that. Man, let me know because right. that is a big moment that's gonna happen. And when it does, man, let me know. We're going to, you know what I'm saying, make a toast. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. It's going to be special because I already know the way you give back in your mindset that it's only going to be, you know, it's only going to grow from there. And, you know, it's only going to compound. So Yeah. Hey, I receive it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, hey, chill out. Chill out. Got, got one more question before we go through some of this chill content out. here. Um, what song or project means the most to you? Sorry, man. Kids going nuts. You good? You heard me? Uh, can you repeat yourself? Yeah. I said, uh, what song or project means the most to you? Um, I would say I'm gonna go with this. This one I'm working on right now. Okay. Lessons and blessings. Uh, basically, this album I'm kicking game. You know about lessons you learn in life and how. You know, some of those lessons turn into blessings um, that you learn from, you know, because life is about living and learning. Right. And, you know, when you're in school and nobody tell you about credit, nobody tell you about how kids is going to be, nobody tell you you're going to be tired, nobody tell you, you know, all the stuff that you're going to have to go through. So uh, this 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 one I'm working on lesson of blessings, this is really like coming from a, a area of a a dad, you know, people that's single fathers or fathers or married. This is for y'all, you know. It's just frustrated coming out. This is <laughs> passion coming out. This is just kicking game, man. Just yeah. regular life stuff, man. You know, so this is an important project for me because I was, like I really been taking my time. Been working on this for past three months, man. Taking my time working on tracks. Mm. No, that's, that's powerful. So, uh, hey, you know, I'm looking forward to listening to it. Make sure you uh, send me the stuff so I can do some reaction videos. So I can uh, do some do a listening party. Hopefully, we can do it together. Yeah. You know what I'm when it comes out, you just let me know. Since it's you know, since it's something big and special, it's your, your the most important stuff. You know what I'm saying? We got to put some content with it. You know what I'm saying? You got you got to go on your press run. So, uh, yes, sir. You know, uh, this is that's big. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you got, just send it send it to me send me the link so you know what i'm saying we can mm. we get it out there as, as much as we can as a as a community as yeah. a you know what i'm saying people you know send it to everybody you know you see puts everything out keeps it solid polishes his projects and you know what i'm saying makes his moves happen listen that's what i want everybody to do because i'm telling you guys Chef, like I like this. I like this one. So I'm gonna have to listen just just a little bit more of it because that's how solid I think it was. Put your stuff out there. Drive. 
listen, you gotta have drive. Like, let me, let me tell you something. And he gonna, he gonna, um, you know what I'm saying? Give his opinion on this too. Like, it's so hard to tap into an industry where people really have a stronghold and don't want to let you in that you gotta have drive. Because with the music industry, there's so much people that got control over it that they don't want that, you know, I know plenty of people that probably already seen his talent, his music, but they don't want him to come in because they realize like he can come in and you know what I'm saying? He can, he can get on a new wave. He could be, you know what I'm saying? The next Drake, bigger than Drake. Like that's how I think like bro could be bigger than Drake if he wants to. And somebody might see that and that might scare them off. Like, no, I don't want to share his stuff or I don't want to put a like or a comment on it just because they in fear of him taking a spot. So never feel like that because it's enough room for all of us to eat. That's what we all got to remember. Mm-hmm. It's enough real estate for us all to live somewhere. Like look at it like when you run your neighborhood and you see all these houses and houses being built. That's how these lanes are in these industries. In music industry, it's enough room for all of us to get in. In the business world, it's enough room space for all of us to have a business. It's enough, you know, um, stuff going on in the music industry where everybody can have a label. And we could all end up working together like me. I'm in a mindset development. Bro does music. We found a way to work together instead of, oh, well, I'm doing my business. I don't know. Like, we could still work together. We could still, right. when he does an interview for his, he asked me to hop on and let people know about some business stuff or about some cryptocurrency or about some opportunities. I'm going to hop on there and let them know because it might be somebody like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to, I got cash, but, you know, I don't know. And because, like I said, he lives in Canada and all these different currencies all over the place, cryptocurrency makes a lot of sense. And so right. we can work together instead of hating on the next person with their music. Shout their music out. Just say, hey, just even ask them if you don't know how they feel about it. Can I shout your music out? Can I share it? Can I let somebody know? Can I do a listening party? Mm-hmm. They might agree. And then, you know, next thing you know, I do a listening party. I put him in on Zoom. He in there answering questions. He in Canada. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? We all having a network. listening party. Yeah, two is out. We networking. It's people that's like, okay, well, hey, I want to work with him. Or, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing a wedding. I want live music. Can he come for that? When he's going to be out here? So you got to just think about the opportunities that come when you put your stuff out there. That's right. what I want people to think about and realize when we talk about all this stuff, like put your stuff out there. If he didn't ever put it out there, we could still do an interview because this is, you know what I'm saying? This is somebody called day one. I know him pretty much since I was like 10, 11. But regardless to all that, it's even better when he's doing his own thing because it's like, now we could just talk about all this. We could talk about, we could talk about this all day. Like that's how yeah. passionate he is about it. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to go ahead and uh, finish up the questions real quick. Come on, real quick. What we going to do? Yeah, man. Proud of you doing your thing, too, bro. Oh, man. I appreciate you, bro. You already know. Bless everybody know. growing, leveling up. Yeah, you got to. There we go. So as we see, we're going to go ahead and go through the rest of these questions. You know what I'm saying, man? We really appreciate him for getting on here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't have to, but he did that. Yeah, look so, out for our know, future projects and everything that he got going. Yes. Uh, yeah. Anything you want to say before, before we um move forward? Oh, I'm about to just drop this next project, Lessons, lessons and Blessings. So be okay. on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout. Uh, so hopefully we'll we be one of the first uh, listeners to that and can um, break that down. So you can break down all the tracks for us. Let us know what's going on. Let us know where they can purchase, where they can stream, how different ways they can support, either through a cash app or through however, through a super chat. And so we're going to link all that in. This is These videos are going to be here forever. So, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely something special. So really appreciate you, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep inspiring. Amen. And um, keep everything you're doing, bro, man. You're really doing something special over here. Appreciate you, bro. You do the same. No problem. Be safe. We're going to be tapping in with you real soon. All right, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate you, bro. No problem, bro. All right, one. Check. I'm living my life with no regrets. Ain't trying to impress. We finish it less. I will feel it. I will feel it. Touching the sky. I fly over buildings. You said you were healing. The ground I'm telling. I'm planting the seeds. I'm re-
sleep in the millions. Hard labor, yeah, I put in the work. They all